Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday the 19th of January. As I mentioned this morning, the church has um, agreed PCC with myself that we are, it has not felt safe uh, to continue doing in-person services and therefore we will be streaming our Eucharist on Sunday uh, for the foreseeable with a review date in February. Uh, <clears throat> as you may be aware, of the latest numbers coming out in terms of uh, of deaths within the last 24 hours, which make quite sobering reading. Uh, so you have my apologies for those who are quite uh, insistent upon coming, but unfortunately I think this is probably the, the hard but uh, necessary choice to make. Uh, so as we come together, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You gave your Christ as the light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness, high on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his courts in the slenderness of the poor wealth thou wouldst reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These, though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness, trust in our trembling and hope for our fear. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. <clears throat> Let us pray one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 89, verses 1 to 33. Truly, the Lord is our shield. My song shall be always of your loving kindness of the Lord. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I will declare that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness as firm as the heavens. For you said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. Your seed will I establish forever, and build up your throne for all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who among the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the hosts of heaven? A God feared in the counsel of the holy one, great and terrible above, above all those who are round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You, you rule the raging of the seas. You stir its waves when they arise. You crush Rahab with a deadly wound and scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth is also, is also is yours. You established the world and all that fills it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before your face. Happy are the people who know the shout of triumph. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they rejoice all the day long and are exalted in your righteousness. 
for you are the glory of their strength, and in your favour you lift up our heads. True, the Lord is our shield, the Holy One of Israel is our King. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set a youth above the mighty, I will raise a young man over the people. I have found David my servant, with my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked person afflict him. I will strike down his foes before his face, and beat down those that hate him. My truth also, my steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name shall his head be exalted. I will set his dominion upon the sea, and his right hand upon the rivers. He shall call to me, You are my Father my God and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him my firstborn, the most high above the kings of the earth. The love I have pledged to him I will keep for ever, and my covenant will stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure for ever, and his throne as the day of heaven. But if his children forsake my law, and cease to walk in my judgments, <clears throat> if they break my statutes, and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their offences with a rod, and their sins with scourges. But I will not take from him my steadfast love, nor suffer my truth to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter what has gone out of my lips. Once for all have I sworn by my holiness, that I will not prove false to David. His seed shall endure for ever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall stand fast for ever as the moon, the enduring witness in the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Truly the Lord is our shield. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verses uh, 11 to the end of the chapter. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on that day all the founders of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened, the rain fell on the earth for forty days and forty nights. On the very same day, Noah, with his sons, Shema, Shem, and Ham, and Jephas, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his son, entered the ark. They, and every wild animal of every kind, and all domestic animals of every kind, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every bird of every kind, every bird, even we, every winged creature, they went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all flesh, in which there was breath of life, and those that entered, male and female of all flesh, went in as God has commanded them, and the Lord shut him in. The flood continued for forty days on the earth, and the water increased and bore up the ark. It rose high above the earth. The water swelled and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the waters. And the waters swelled so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. The water swelled above the mountains covered them fifteen cubits deep, and all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds, domestic animals, wild animals, all swarming creatures that swarmed on the earth, and all human beings. Everything on dry land in whose nostril was breath of life died. He blotted out every living thing that was on the face of the ground, <coughs> human beings and animals and creeping things and birds of the air. They were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those that were with him in the ark and the water swelled on the earth for 150 days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise forever. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits upon the throne, to the Lamb, be honor, blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Our New Testament reads a continuation of the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 22, verses 15 to 28. So when you see the desolate, desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place, as was spoken by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then those in Judah must flee to the mountains. Someone on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. 
Someone in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on Sabbath. For at that time there will be great suffering, such as not been from the beginning of the world until now. No, and never will be. And if those days have not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is a Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand. So if you say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far to the west, so will the coming of the son of Adam. Wherever the corpse sits, there the vultures will gather. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it will, and arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Well done, good and faithful servant. You will be faithful over a little. I will make you ruler over much. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He hath looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I'll make you ruler over much. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this day. We give thanks for all that you've done with us and through us. As we approach the evening, be with us and guide our hearts and our minds and our actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering with the coronavirus, for those who are infected at this time, those who are anxiously awaiting test results, those who are shielding, those who are longing for a vaccine, those who are struggling with the restrictions of lockdown, for those who are longing for an end. We pray tonight for all who are hospitalized at this time, we pray for those who have died. We pray for all the families who are worried about loved ones. For all those families who are mourning and grieving at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the world. We pray for Christians throughout the world. We pray for the different denominations and for those who are looking to find commonality and unity. Help us, Lord, always to see that there is more that unites us than divides us. Help us to grow in love and respect for one another. And let us worship you together as one people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for all who are working in key roles, for those who are in public facing jobs, those in the pharmacies, those in the shops, those in the NHS. We pray for all those who can ill afford time off. Lord, keep them safe, watch over them and give them strength. We pray for all who are furloughed at this time, for those who have been made redundant. We pray for all who are working under such difficult conditions. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for peace in this world, for an end to violence and an end to suffering. We pray for the United Nations and for all who work to broker peace. We pray for diplomats that they may find the right words to end violence. We pray for those who are putting themselves in harm's way to protect others from violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are sick in mind, body and spirit. In a moment of stillness, we call to mind those who are weighing upon our hearts. We pray for all those, Lord, who are known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. We pray for all who are planning funerals at this time and for all who carry the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, you raised up Wollstone to be a bishop among your people and a leader of your church. Help us, after his example, to live simply, to work diligently and to make your kingdom known. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Believing in the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. Until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.